a lot of times we have a quadratic expression in one form and we want to rewrite it in another equivalent form. And so it's important to understand when uh, two different quadratics are equivalent, especially if they're written in different forms. So remember our three basic forms for a quadratic, we have the standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c for some coefficients a, b, and c. We have factored form where it's um, maybe a times x minus m times x minus n. And this a is the same as that a there. It's a leading coefficient. But the m and the n would be our, um, our solutions or our x-intercepts if we set this equal to 0. Um, and then we have vertex form, which tells us the coordinates of the vertex. That looks like a times x minus h squared plus k, and the vertex would be at h comma k in the order uh, in the coordinate plane. So let's let's look at this question. We've got uh, x squared plus 8x plus 15. We want to know which of the following four expressions are equivalent to it. And so we've got the first two a and b are in vertex or in excuse me in factored form, two linear factors multiplied together. The last two are in vertex form. So if we can figure out the factored form and the vertex form, we're, we're good to go, uh, starting from the standard form expression. But the secret is, so we could, we could factor this directly and see which, uh, which answer we get. And we could use completing the square to rewrite it in vertex form. But it's usually faster to take something in factored form and foil it and get to standard form. And it's usually faster to take something in vertex form and foil that and simplify to get to standard form, rather than uh, completing the square. So let's save our time and let's just FOIL and see what, what these look like. So this uh, first option, x plus 8 times x plus 15. If you FOIL that, you got x times x plus, uh, that's, so those are the first terms, x plus 15, or x times 15, excuse me. And then 8 times x, and then 8 times 15, the last terms. But uh, then we start simplifying. So x squared, that matches. And then we got 15x plus 8x. And so already, so these are the, the only terms uh, the, with, of a degree 1, the linear terms. 15x plus 8x, you combine those like terms, you get 23x. That doesn't fit our 8x. So we can stop there, but uh, we could also just, uh, just to see what it actually does look like. 8 times 15, that's... 8 times 10 is 80 plus 8 times 5, so that's 120. So this, in fully simplified form, would be 8, all right, x squared plus 23x plus 120. That is not what we're looking for. So this is not the right answer. All right, um, the next one, x plus 3 times x plus 5, we foil it again, all right, x times x plus, and then the outer terms, x times 5, and the inner terms, 3 times x, and then the last terms, 3 times 5. All right, so x squared plus 5x plus 3x plus, and then 3 times 5 is 15. All right, so the first term matches x squared and x squared. 15, the constant term, matches the constant term we're looking for. In the middle, so we combine these like terms, 5x and 3x, those are like terms, we get x squared plus 8x plus 15. So that's a match. All right, so this, this is uh, going to be an equivalent expression. All right, but there could be more than one ways to write this. Uh, there are definitely more than one uh, ways to write this, uh, this expression. So let's keep going, see if there are any other matches. That's right, so the next one, x plus 4 to the power 2 minus 1. So again, we're just going to FOIL this. This is x plus 4 times x plus 4. That's what that power 2 does. And then the minus 1. So we FOIL that uh, first part, x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus, and then 4 times 4 is 16 minus 1. So that gives us x squared plus 8x, and then 16 minus 1 is 15. So that's another match. So that one is an equivalent expression. And then the last one, x plus 4 to the power 2 plus 11. Let's see what happens here. So we do the same thing. x plus 4 times x plus 4 plus 11. We know that if we multiply that out, we're going to get this. x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16, because we foiled the same thing in the last one. And then plus 11. So this one, x squared plus 
8x, that starts out good, x squared and then 8x, that matches. But then 16 plus 11 is 27, that doesn't match our 15, so this is not a match. All right, so b and c are the two matches here. b is the factored form of our, our quadratic and c is the vertex form.